Hi, Mr. Wigger. So today I'm going to be making hot ice. I'm going to be using two items, vinegar and baking soda. I'm going to be measuring out three tablespoons of baking soda that I will put in a pan. One, two, and three. I will then add the vinegar. Let the fizz go down a little. By boiling both the vinegar and the baking soda, I will evaporate approximately 90% of the water from the solution. Forty minutes have passed and as you can tell the solution is fairly clear. It has formed sodium acetate around the rims of the pan which I am scraping off in order to use to form hot ice. Once the sodium acetate trihydrate is ready and cooled, I will be putting the sodium acetate into it in order to form hot ice. As you can see, I've taken the sodium acetate trihydrate off the stove and I have put in a cool bath water with ice. I'm going to let it cool for 15 minutes and then return. The sodium acetate trihydrate is cooled and ready to be added with the sodium acetate. I'm taking the spoon that has the sodium acetate on it and putting specks into the sodium acetate trihydrate. As you can see, hot ice is beginning to form in little circular formations. It is fairly clear and white. hot ice. I have decided to try it for the second time, but this time I wanted to see if it worked with my finger. It didn't work immediately, but a few seconds later I noticed that it began to form. This was different than the first time because it started forming in spikes rather than circular shapes. I then put it on the stove one more time to see if it would still work. And as you can see, it's not really doing much, but it is beginning to harden a little. It is not as clear as the first two tries, but it is still working at a slower pace. As you can see, I have made hot ice, and it is pretty still in there. Thank you for watching.